Hey, how's it going guys and girls? Um, Canadian Dipper here. This is sort of a pilot project of mine um, to do dip reviews. Um, I find a lot of the dip channels on YouTube out there, they don't do a lot of products that I personally do. And um, like for instance, uh, Whitetail, there was very few reviews of the Whitetail straight there's a couple of the mint out there, um, and because I was curious about trying whitetail myself, and that's what we're going to do in this video today, um, but as I said, a lot of the channels out there just don't uh, review a lot of products that maybe you want to hear before you buy them, at least for me anyway. Um, so today that's exactly what we're going to do to start this pilot project. Um, it's called Whitetail Smokeless Mint. Um, I've had a few issues with this company right off the bat. Um, I tried the Whitetail Straight and uh, when I got the can it was only half full. Um, it was very... It, 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 it was as if someone took a few pinches out of the can before they sent it. Um, I reached out on Instagram and uh, they gave me a code for a free can, which I got, uh, Whitetail Mint. And it's a really cool can overall. Um, on the back. So I got the 10.6 milligram, um, which is, for me, I am heavily tolerant towards dips. Um, I use Swedish Snus products as well, uh, Siberia, I'll be doing a lot of those reviews in the future if this project, this first video does okay. Um, but yeah, so this is what we're going to be reviewing. Um, the only complaint I have is they sent me the free can because of the mishap with the Whitetail Straight can they had sent me. And I don't recommend buying that uh, particular flavor, by the way. It is it is garbage. Um, the There's like no flavor to it. And if you're a dipper, okay, you... If you have Copenhagen straight and then try uh, Whitetail straight, you're gonna notice a huge difference. And they claim on Instagram that it's similar to the real thing and it's far from it. It is not the same. Uh, they use mint leaves, which for alternative products, um, well, let's just say that mint leaves always overpower the taste of what they're going for. Um, so that's usually my issue with alternatives is the mint leaves. Um, but I got mint because I thought, well, if they use mint leaves, the mint might be half decent. So um, we're going to go ahead and give it a try. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, pack this now. I, <laughs> I love doing this. Um, I do it more than the average dipper probably would. I just think it's fun. But, uh, again, this can's kind of cool. It's a twist-off. And uh, the overall design of the can, I would rate very highly. Um, it's really unique. Uh, you don't see um, a lot of them out there like this. Um, so it's a very unique can. Um, as you can see here, I did take a pinch earlier, um, just to get a better idea. So it's not like the issue I had with the straight can where they sent, sent it like this. Um, that's literally what they sent me when I got the whitetail straight and, uh, it was not good at all. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a pinch. Uh, I know this stuff is awful. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. So it's pretty moist, I'd say. Um, the pinchability 
it's uh, kind of poor. I mean, that's what you're going to expect. It's mint leaves. But um, let's go ahead and... Okay. So yeah. It burned your lip. Like I even go a step further saying like it is worse than Copenhagen mint. Um it doesn't taste very good at all. Um, the mint is very overpowering. It's all over my mouth. Um, there's floaters everywhere. And <laughs> they call it long cut. They should not call it that. I would not recommend this brand. There are so many alternatives out there. I would not go with Whitetail. Mm -mm. They overhype the products on Instagram by saying it's similar to uh, like Grizzly and Copenhagen. It's not. Really far off, I, I think. Um, again, it's really minty and everything, but there's still like an aftertaste um, I'm assuming it's from the mint leaves. And I mean. If you're looking for an alternative. Don't go to Whitetail. Um, I will be doing some reviews. If this pilot project works out. On um, Outlaw Dip. There's another company. That I've seen excellent reviews of. Um, I just can't remember the name of it. is it black buffalo or buffalo something buffalo anyway um i'd have to do some more research on them but i have heard that they make excellent products based out of chicago and um i will be doing a few alternatives um I enjoy Swedish Snus. I consider that an alternative to your regular U.S. dip. Um, I love it. Um, for so many, for the last four years, I mainly used um, U.S. tobacco dip, like Copenhagen, Skoll, um, Grizzly. I'm not a huge fan of Grizzly. I'll still review them um, unless... Um, you guys have something else in mind, but I particularly don't like Grizzly. I've tried almost every Grizzly product. Can't get into Grizzly. It's like artificial. Um, Copenhagen doesn't taste as artificial as Grizzly. I mean, come on, like, Copenhagen is the best. <laughs> like, let's be real. Um, Outlaw Dip was the best dip. Before they went uh, to an alternative, which they use tea um, for their product. Prior, under Tough Guy brand, the best dip I ever had. It was juicy. Oh my god, I still have videos of uh, doing uh, Tough Guy, and that was the best dip I ever had. If you ever had a can of Tough Guy, you know what I'm talking about. The Outlaw Dip with the alternative it just doesn't, I mean the flavors are great, um, but overall it, it's just not the same as the Tough Guy days. It's unfortunate and I'm really disappointed by that, but um, as you know, it says it in my name, Canadian Dipper, I am Canadian. Um, 
I am a permanent resident in the United States. Just some little bio about me. Um, I met my wife in the US. I have family that live in the States and I met her while I was visiting. And um, I didn't even know what dip was until I went to the US. I've never seen it. I saw them here in Canada, they block tobacco. Like when you go into a store, they have these shelves where you can't see it. And you have to specifically ask for a brand that you want or ask what brands and they open up these shelves to show you is completely hidden in Canada, at least in Ontario. I don't know what it's like in other provinces. I'm assuming it's the same. I'm sure it's federal. Maybe not, I could be wrong. But um, yeah, tobacco here is becoming very taboo. As in the States, tobacco is like a God-given right. <laughs> Um, the other reason is dip here is expensive. One time I didn't bring enough tobacco with me, so I had to go to a, I thought I would go to a gas station and check out to see if they have it. They do. You're paying 20 bucks a can, which is ridiculous. When I saw it, I was like, whoa. And I bought one because I, I needed that nick. I needed that nicotine. And, uh, um, the reservations here in Canada sell it too at a lower price. You're still getting ripped off. They sell a big bag of Stoker's Chew for $60. Okay. In Salamanca, New York, on the reservation, um, it's like $14 for a big bag of Stoker's Chew. Like, wildberry and peach and butternut moonshine all that kind of stuff so 60 dollars canadian which is probably like 50 something u.s R ridiculous those prices i just couldn't believe it. and they do sell dip on the reservations for like 15 bucks a can but it's near expiry uh it's near expiring and um they do have discounted cans for $10 where the cans are expired, like by months. It's I bought one just to be because I was curious about it and it was dry. It just oh it's not great here in Canada. If you're dipping in Canada, I feel sorry for you because you may as well not. Unless you have access to the border and you can go over to the US and buy you some uh, a month supply or whatever a year supply even that might be expensive but who knows unless you're doing that um i wouldn't even bother dipping in canada because it's just so expensive um there's many u.s states where people complain about you no know, six dollars for a can or seven or so on and so forth and i'm just like come to canada Buy a can of dip in Canada, then you can complain. Um, but yeah, um, whitetail, absolutely garbage. I got floaters all in my lip. It's just awful. I would not recommend this to you. Anyways, to conclude this video, um, it's a pilot project. Um, I probably will do a few more and see how it goes. And if you guys enjoy my content, then I'll even, I do have a camera to make it more, um, I'm doing it for my car right now. I'm actually visiting here in Canada right now. Um, I'm vaccinated, I got the jab. Um, so the border, the Canadian border opened for those who are vaccinated. I'm a citizen regardless, but I don't have to quarantine because I'm vaccinated and I had a negative COVID test, which makes it easier for me to come visit. And I'm glad to see there's some normalcy here in Canada um, after the Nazi lockdowns. Not as bad as Australia. Australia was so much worse. I feel so sorry for the Australians out there. Um, 
I think we have taken things way over the edge. Like, two weeks to flatten the curve, you know? It's just unreal. Um, but with the Canadian election coming up, you know, I hope we can change our government. And uh, hopefully we... Um, I'm hoping that the Conservative Party wins, even though I'm kind of... Uh, on edge about some of their platforms. Um, PPC is the best conservative party out there. Um, but they're, the odds of them winning is very low. And um, But if you're Canadian watching, please vote. I don't really care who you vote for. You deserve your say. You know, if COVID lockdowns and COVID mandates and public restrictions is what you want that's democracy if that's what majority of people want then so be it I guess I'll have to suck it up but it's so important to vote even if you're American the candidates I'd say for the most part are just crap um, they don't have the people's interests at heart and all the good people just don't want the job But it's important to vote. Definitely important. So I always say vote for the lesser of two evils. You know, some people say, what's the point? It's still important. And um, that's going to conclude this video, Canadian Dipper. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's a little bit iffy. This is my first time doing it. Um, I'm sure I'll progress as time goes on. Like I said, I said it a million times. It's a pilot project. Um, but hopefully it works out. If there's products you want me to try, let me know in the comments. Shoot me a, a message or whatever and I'll do it. <laughs> there's not much I haven't done, by the way. Um, I've ex I've tried so many different products and I always thought, I'm like, why don't I make videos about this stuff? Like, you know, there was probably people just like me that were curious about a product but couldn't find a review or like there's many issues I had where I found a product. I'm like, well, let me see what some people have to say about it. And I couldn't find any. I mean, most of them do the mainstream brands and stuff but when you come across something that you're not sure about you just can't find it so I was like what the hell maybe I'll I'll try uh going on YouTube <laughs> anyways you guys stay safe out there um and keep on dipping <laughs>